It's 10 trivia questions on E words. All the answers start with E. This is trivia with buds. What it be? And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen. And thanks for iTunes reviews. Try and hit 400 by the end of September. We're at 366. If you listen on Apple Podcasts or any kind of Apple podcast app, make sure you leave a review. If you have a few minutes, you can go just leave star reviews. You can leave words. You can tell me what you like about the show, what you don't like about the show. I would love to see your feedback. Uh, Today's episode on E-words, all the answers start with the letter E, but before we get to that, we have a Geek Out Challenge card. Your Geek Out Challenge card is as follows. Name two films in which Tommy Lee Jones appears... Name two characters from the television sitcom M.A.S.H. Name four children's book series with over 20 titles. Name four string instruments. And name six short-lived toy fads. All right. I was into a lot of toy fads, especially when I was a kid in the 90s. So many toy fads out there. (laughs) They're always popular around uh, Christmas time. You know, I don't want to give any away, but we'll say Furbies, for example. Furbies, a fantastic toy fad that had everybody excited for a little bit. (laughs) So there you go. Uh, If you have requests for topics that you'd like me to do on the show, you can join our Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, $5 a month. You get to pick a topic every month. Sometimes I do um, your topic within that month. Sometimes it's a few months later, but eventually I do record them and we'll be doing some Patreon submitted topics in the weeks to come. Somebody said, hey, can you do a round on alcohol? And another person said, can you do a round on Star Wars? So we'll see what we got in terms of those categories. And if you have your own categories you want to pick, join the Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, all the links in the show notes for every episode, wherever you're listening to this very show. We're going to jump into 10 questions on E-words right now. Here we go. E-words. All the answers start with the letter E, the fifth letter of the alphabet. Here's number one, a substance produced by a living organism which acts as a catalyst to bring about a specific biochemical reaction. Number one, a substance produced by a living organism, which acts as a catalyst to bring about a specific biochemical reaction. Number one. Number two, a button you might find on a VCR. Number two, a button you might find on a VCR. Number three, a 2007 fantasy film about a girl named Giselle. Number three, a 2007 fantasy film about a girl named Giselle. Number four, when Earth's equator passes through the center of the sun. Number four, when Earth's equator passes through the center of the sun. Number five, a Milne character voiced by Ralph Wright, 1966, Milne, M-I-L-N-E. Number five, a Milne character voiced by Ralph Wright, 1966. Number six, the correct spelling of Scrooge's first name. The correct spelling of Scrooge's first name. Number seven, a popular credit bureau reporting company. Number seven, a popular credit bureau reporting company. Number eight, Mrs. Miss Crabapple's first name on The Simpsons. Number eight, Miss Crabapple's first name on The Simpsons. Number nine, a Marvel hero with a dismal 2005 movie. A Marvel hero with a dismal 2005 movie. Number 
Number 10, to dig out, especially a corpse from the ground. To dig out, especially a corpse from the ground. And your bonus, E-Words, number 11, for two points, what British-American comedy series starred Matt LeBlanc? For two points, what British-American comedy series starred Matt LeBlanc? Those are all your questions for E-Word Trivia. We'll be back with the answers after this. Back in the studio with the answers to E-Word Trivia. Let's see if you got all 11 of these correct. Here's number one. A substance produced by a living organism, which acts as a catalyst to bring about a specific biochemical reaction, is an enzyme. Enzyme number one. Number two, a button you might find on a VCR is the eject button. Got to get that tape out of there and rewind it so they don't charge you at the local video store. We used to have that little car that you put the tape in just to rewind it because the rewinder on the VCRs was always the first thing to go. So they said, use this thing. It'll uh, save your VCR. And when you close the hood of the car, it would start rewinding the tape and the, the lights would come on the front of the car. It was pretty cool for back in the late 80s, early 90s. Number three, a 2007 fantasy film about a girl named Giselle is not Tom Brady's main squeeze. A different Giselle. This one is Enchanted, the movie Enchanted. I think they're making a sequel to Enchanted. Sometimes you read these articles and it says a sequel's coming and then it's not like a real website. But I do remember seeing that recently. Hopefully it was a real website where I saw it. Number four, when Earth's equator passes through the center of the sun, we have two other E words, Earth and equator. But the third one is equinox, equinox. Number five, a Milne character voiced by Ralph Wright, 1966. Eeyore is the answer there. Eeyore was doing a corporate show the other day. And uh, I said to a player on a game we were playing where they were talking to me on Zoom, I said, hey, what's the coolest thing that happened to you over the summer? And she says, my donkey had a baby, which no one's ever said to me before. (laughs) And I said, your donkey had a baby? What'd you name it? She said, Eeyore. I was like, that's perfect. Number six, the correct spelling of Scrooge's first name is Ebenezer from A Christmas Carol, E-B-E-N. E-Z-E-R, Ebenezer. Number seven, a popular credit bureau reporting company is Equifax, Equifax. And number eight, Miss Crabapple's first name on The Simpsons is Edna, Edna. I believe that the voice actress of Edna Crabapple passed away a few years back. Number nine, a Marvel hero with a dismal 2005 movie is Elektra. Jennifer Gardner as that character also appears in Daredevil. And number 10, to dig out, especially a corpse from the ground, is exhume, to exhume a corpse. Number 11, the British American comedy series starring Matt LeBlanc was Episodes. And I think you can watch that on Netflix, Episodes. I watched the first season. It was good. I just never finished it. So there it is, Episodes. Those are all of your questions and answers for today on E-Words. Hope you had fun playing along. Thanks for checking out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, and go to etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds to see t-shirts, trivia books, and more. There's a second second printing available of Pop Culture Puzzles Volume 1. It's 10 bucks. It's free shipping. I'll sign it for you and include some stickers and magnets and other goodies. Go to the Etsy page, all linked in the show notes. Your fun fact of today is about a Pope. That's right. The youngest Pope was 11 years old. What a job to take on at age 11. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.